is best of seven. Bryant gets inside off the fence. And only 14 teams have come back when they've trailed two games to nothing. Stoudemire. We are seeing a different Amari Stoudemire here in the early portion of the first quarter. I think he got the uh, aggression memo. Yeah. They clear it out for Gasol. And it is tied at 13, four minutes. John by. Foul is called, Nash is hit on the arm. Foul committed by Fisher. Well, Amari Stoudemire with very, very good deep post position, only one dribble away from the basket. I like the fact that he turned and faced he got his shoulders past Lamar Odom and got the easy basket. So Stoudemire already has two of three from the floor, five of seven. And how important it is to get to that free throw line, especially the Phoenix Suns, a very good free throw shooting team. So you want to get there early and often, Marv. And the Lakers over the limit very early. You can just see the dominance there, Marv. I mean, 111 to 65. Look at the shot attempt, 73 to 45. Steve Nash only averaging nine shot attempts. And then that fourth quarter scoring, it's been Pal Gasol in game two with the 14. Kobe Bryant was brilliant in game one. And, and if this game is close tonight, Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire are their fourth quarter guys. Nash with just 10 shots in game one and only the eighth in game two. The foul is away from the ball. It's a non-shooting foul for the Suns, only their first team foul. It's, it's on Richardson. And Alvin Gentry after the, the first game said, Steve Nash has to get more shots, but he did not. He got two less. Today when we spoke to Alvin, he said there's no way he's going to get many more shots the way the Lakers are playing. Yeah, the personnel is here to not let him come off those screens and shoot the ball. They're going to force him to give the ball up. So he has to be a facilitator and guys have to knock down shots. We know drama. Yes, we are in the desert. Welcome back to the Valley of the Sun with the Suns leading the Lakers by two. Time for Gatorade around the cooler. Here's Craig Sager. Craig. Well, thanks, Mark. Doug has been comparing the Lakers' defense on Steve Nash to a football team containing the running back. Derek Fisher says it's their number one priority. He says it begins with him meeting the initial penetration, but he says he is getting great help from Odom, Casol, and Bynum, not only verbally communicating the screen, but also stepping up to cut off Nash's driving lanes. It's an effective game plan that Nash admits is working. And they're usually putting a third guy in the area to, uh, to make the ball go to someone else. And right now it's going to guys on the weak side who are making shots. So we're still scoring, I think, uh, like I said. But, you know, we'll always look for ways to improve it. But it's really the defense that we got to improve. After a very strong regular season and superb play first two rounds of the playoffs, to this point, Steve Nash has been contained. Well, Lamar Odom with his first bucket he's been fantastic hard 15 points a game in the paint that that's how effective he's been getting that ball in the lane Lopez tried to adjust and the rebound is ripped down by Gasol Marv Albert Doug Collins Craig Sager we're at U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix got clocked down to seven Fisher open for three. Stoudemire over to take it out of the hands of our test. Hill with the pull up. Rebounded by Bryant. Well, the Lakers are going to run selectively. Or they'll run more at home here. Kobe Bryant talked about controlling the pace, not running up and down and getting in a three point shooting contest. Fisher, that's a two pointer. Lakers have opened up 8 of 12 from the field. Now, how, how many big shots through his career have we seen Derek Fisher hit? And most of them have been on the road. How do you explain that? He's just tough. He is tough. You know, I, I know I'm at a, I, I, I love his game and here is Jason Richardson, but what Derek Fisher brings to this team in terms of poise and his energy and, and guys know that they can count on him, Marv. He's one of those guys that can miss every shot during the course of the game and won't run away from a big shot late if it presents itself. Lakers and Suns tied at 17 as we hit the halfway mark of this first quarter. 
And again, the whistle away from the ball, foul against the Suns, only their second team foul. Foul on Stoudemire, that is his first. And now Channing Fry will come on for Robin Lopez, and Channing Fry, overall, in first two games, just one for 13 from the field. Even though the regular season did not shoot the ball well, particularly from three-point range, in three games against the Lakers, the song is right at Fry. See, that is demoralizing, because now Channing Fry is going to want to try to get it back on the other end. And I, I would, if I were him, go inside and try to get an easy one rather than shoot a long block. How about Steve Nash? I mean, over the outstretched arm of Lamar Odom, that was an incredible degree of difficulty shot that he just made. Steve showing us the rainbow. Game tied at 19. Odom gets the step. Rebounded by Stoudemire. But a very strong first quarter for Stoudemire. Richardson not able to convert on the lob. Fisher all the way. It was contested by Stoudemire. Pass his pass. That's the cover. Richardson open for three. Yes. That's when he's at his best. Leaking out on the fast break. The Suns got a break on that play. That ball was deflected, and Nash was able to swat it over to Jason Richardson for the open three. Yellows on Bryant. Bryant fires for three. Kobe Bryant right back, and the game is tied. Bryant has hit all four of his shot attempts. Nash. Yes. Steve Nash finding some room here in the early going. Well, that was a great screen by Jason Richardson. If you saw right at the end there, Pal Gasol came running over to try to get his hand in, in uh, Steve Nash's face just a little bit too late. A twist up by Nash on a split. Fisher for three. Three bottom by Richardson. Richardson from the other side. Yes. Another three for Jason Richardson. Well, it's because of the defense, Mars. They're getting some defensive stops. Now when they run out, they're getting in a broken court. It's tougher to match up. Fisher. Oh, Derek Fisher firing up shots. He's had the touch in this first quarter after two quiet games at the offensive end, although he's done an excellent job defensively. On Nash, Stoudemire looks to set the pick. shot and he looked like he was going to pass the ball he just got to catch it and shoot it you know he's we were talking at breakfast Marv he was saying you know everything feels good it's right on and this that whatever and it's not good it's almost he's either hesitating or he's got happy feet and you got to have a you know amnesia when you're a shooter you got to forget about those shots you missed he had the shot it was open he hesitated and when you do that you lose you think at this point he's tight I, I think he's thinking about it yes no question Jared Dudley has checked in he's now defending on Bryant, Bryant shoots over. Make it five for five for Kobe Bryant. Stoudemire met by Gasol with help. Stoudemire rejected. Dudley had an opportunity. Dudley staying on Bryant with help from Richardson. A test. Fires one up. Not a good shot. I think it would be better off to take that open three when he dribbled the ball. He never got on balance. I spoke by Nash. He beat Fisher off the dribble but could not finish. And, and again, Mylar Test coming over to get a hand in the face for Steve Nash to shoot that ball quickly. Steve